Let's choose here. It's Amazon. Amazon! And you guys, they use our new driveway. I have been waiting for this day since Maverick, before Maverick was born. A little backstory. When we had Maverick, I decided to buy a reclining chair and I thought my amazing husband, who's capable of everything in this world, would put like rocking so it could rock. He would make it rock. <laughs> well, it's been two years and he refuses to make my rocking chair rock. So I bought a rocking chair and it's here. It's here. It's here, Crennel. It's here. I'm so excited you're gonna not bug me anymore. Don't mind my horrible voice. I am 21 weeks. Look how big my belly 21 is. 21 weeks. I'm 31 weeks. <laughs> <laughs> We're 31 weeks. This is the current status status of our nursery. So as many of you guys know, we have been remodeling our house. And so this room has been our catch-all room. So like as we work on a different room, we'll throw all our crap in here. And it just kind of rotates around the house. Well, well, it all rotates into this room. Yeah, it Eventually, all ends up in everything here. everything ends up in here. <laughs> so, and we both have been sick the last couple of days. It's been awful, so... But we have, to, we have to do it. I mean... Yeah, we're getting down to, like, crunch time here. Here's Maverick's suitcase. He's Maverick's packed. packed for when we go to the hospital. Yeah, so he's packed just because Crandall and I... Like, I technically don't need anything, and Crandall can go to the store. But this little boy, who is also sick... What's up, buddy? So we finally decided that it's time to clean this up, get it ready... And actually get their nursery finished. So there's a few things in this room that are staying. A few things that are going. Uh, a few things that are going? Yeah. All of it? So when Calvin, our nephew, comes to visit, this is where he sleeps on this crib mattress. So his bed's are right here. So we're going to put him in a crib next time, I guess. <laughs> but we have all the baby stuff right there. Our clothes. That we haven't been using our dresser, um, all of our clothes, but we actually are giving that dresser to the twins, so we have to come up with a solution for us. And then over here, the cribs are currently in our closet, and we need to take them out so we can put our clothes in that closet. We also have this freezer that doesn't work. I don't know what we're going to do with I don't know what stuff. we're going to do with all this stuff. There's so much crap. Hey, Bubba. Oh, please. Yeah, there's so much stuff in this problem is we don't have anywhere to put it. Like, we can put things in totes, but, like, we still don't have a place to put all the totes. Yeah. Hey, we don't scream. Okay, y'all. Marcy has got it all pretty much cleaned up. We've still got to figure out our dresser situation, I but that'll be last. It, I think we fixed our dresser situation. Maverick, what are you doing? Okay. You measuring? What's our dresser situation? We're gonna move this into our room and Maverick's into here. Maverick only uses one drawer, so it's not that big of a deal if he doesn't have a dresser in his room. So we're gonna move his dresser into here so we don't have to buy another drawer. So we're gonna actually head to Lowe's because we are gonna be building this into an accent wall for the boys. And we'll kind of show you guys, it's kind of hard to, well, it's not that hard to explain. We're going to do a board and batten, basically. There'll be strips all along there with a board across the top. It's going to look great. So let's jump in the car, head to Lowe's. What's up, Maverick? You're still in your pajamas? See, they're the cutest pajamas ever, so Mommy lets me wear them all day so she can enjoy them. <laughs> Whoa, careful there. <laughs> I just asked Crandall what the probability of me going into labor at Lowe's is. And if you guys watch our channel at all, you know we're at Lowe's quite a bit of the time. So I think it's pretty high. Probably pretty high. That's pretty sad high. to say. Can we get six? Why? In case you mess up. I don't mess up. Forklift doing forklift things. Y'all have asked for it. I also picked up sheetrock mud so that I can finish the sheetrock in the house. It's gonna be nice. So we didn't quite think this through when we made plans for the day, but it is like 7.15 and it is Maverick's bedtime. 
And this is Maverick's wall. This is the wall that everything is going on. So we gotta hurry. <laughs> we gotta hurry, because he's ready for bed. Basically, we bought a board that's slightly skinnier than our baseboard. So you can see it has a little bit of a lift, which is perfect, just what we want. So I just cut a whole bunch of eight foot boards in half. And we're gonna go ahead and just nail these up all the way along the bottom, and then we'll put our top board on top. Do we have enough? Oh. Wow, we improved. When we did Maverick's nursery, um, we had to use the air compressor one. Now we gotta figure out our measurements. Wait, hold on. Let me look first. Can we do it a little bit bigger? I mean, if we do, it's gonna mess everything up. What do you mean, no mess everything up? We'll have to redo the entire layout. That's just really skinny. That's only a foot. It's 16 inches from center to center. <laughs> 16 inch gap that's not even a foot oh marsh why do you make things so complicated <laughs> i don't i don't when you're like when we're talking about spacing and i say oh i don't like a foot that's going to be too small let's do 16 inches i'm not talking about the center of the boards i'm talking about like the actual gap Okay, well then we're gonna have to redo this all. We've only put one board up. I know, but the calculating. <laughs> okay, so we use less boards. Yeah, but we have to center it on the wall. We don't want this much of a gap on the end. Remember when I asked you? <laughs> yeah, I did it right. You did it wrong. <laughs> no, it's not. You gotta go to construction school so you know what you're talking about. No, you need to clarify. <laughs> We'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so Crandall came up with a solution, but he didn't tell me. He just put up another board. So what we're doing is we're going to put we put the two ends in. We'll put the middle one in, and then we'll lay out each of the boards, figure them out so they're straight, so Mars looks up likes them, and then we'll put them up and be done. Not make it complicated. This is not going to be complicated. Y'all remember how Crandall made fun of Lester for... Haven't, well, he was surprised that Lester had a level. Look at Colonel's level. I don't even think he can see the bubbles. It's the worst. <laughs> they sell these really nice levels that you push a button and these light up so you can actually see them. I gotta get me one like that. <laughs> I've had that Sorry, level Lester. forever. I it's mean, the worst. Yeah, it looks horrible. Here's this. Thanks. What did you find? Ball. Yeah. It's not a shoe. Did you watch? Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, a stud finder. Push. Again? Okay, push. Push. Again? Okay. Oh, good job. Okay, we figured it out. There's our spacing. It's like 24 on center ish. It looks good, love. Thanks. I think we have a future in this. up on me now I have all this extra baseboard that I already cut that we can't return that we're gonna have to find something to do with well you could run it right here measure five times cut once he wanted to cut everything before we started I was trying to be productive y'all do you see what I have to live with sometimes he actually That kind of scared you, huh?
Oh, you want me to hold it? Okay. Oh, yeah, the board. So he actually says measure five times, cut once. I think this is the third time he's had to go out and cut because he Mom. didn't realize that the baseboards aren't all created equal. Some are longer than others. So he's out there cutting them again. Mom. I'm really confused. Now we just got these all mixed up. Sorry. <laughs> Inches of no, because it's different size. But I have a piece that we can make it work with. It's just a bummer that we have to do that. Let's see if we're. We'll see if our line is level. Let's see if it's level. Looks pretty good to me. How in the world? I guess you measured five times, right? Yeah. Wait, you're not actually going to check it with the level? No, there's nothing we can do about it if it's not. Well, you could like push it a little bit and then we could fill it in with caulk. Nope. That'd make it look worse. Where's the stud finder? Shelves. I'll uh, I'll find the video of us demoing this bedroom the day we got the house. The yeah, it was the after. day we got the house almost a year ago. Yeah, so I'll play some clips of what this was before, and then obviously when we're all done, we'll do some after, which isn't going to be in this video. So if you guys aren't subscribed, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our final big uh, what is it? Not gender reveal. Nursery reveal. Nursery reveal. So you don't miss our big nursery reveal. And I'll play some clips though of what this of was what before. it looked like. later and this is what we have. Oh, it's been so much work. We're both like wiped out. It's 11, close to 11. It's about 1040 right now. We have an hour drive back. We would just stay here, but with me being allergic to cats, I have to go home and shower. So yeah, so we got to get back. Uh, Thanksgiving's tomorrow. So I don't know if I'm going to be up here working or not, but holy crap. Crap. <laughs> so much. And we're just running into thing after thing, which, you know, is to be expected. Lots of termite damage. I showed you guys some of that already, but um, you can see there's just a bunch of rotted wood. A little bit of moisture, mold damage. Not a ton, which is good. Um, but yeah, we're getting after it. And for like weeks, we could walk through this wall. Like Crandall had taken it completely down and you could walk through it. So everything from the non-existent flooring, but like the doors, the trim, the lights, like Crandall's done everything in here. Maverick's helped. With what? Making Sweeping the walls. 
when I was a kid, um, I was like 15 or 16, I moved into a new bedroom in my house, down into the basement, and my parents let me redo my room, and we did this exact same thing on my walls. And my dad and I got to work on it together, and it was like one of those memories I have that is so like awesome, and I think about how me and my dad built these walls together, and we painted the upper part blue, and it turned out so cute. Like, I wish I had a picture. My parents have moved now to Florida, but it turned out so cute. <laughs> but it seriously took us, like, forever. And when I say forever, I think we worked on it for, like, five Saturdays. So it took us tons of hours. I was telling Crandall, it's because we, like, hand cut the wood because my dad didn't have all the right tools. But, like... As a kid, it's something you look back on and you think, you know, I got to do this with my dad. Like, I'm so grateful. But it's just kind of funny that we're doing the same thing now in our kids' room. And it took kind of like 20 minutes. <laughs> so, I'll have to send this video to my dad so that he can see that I put what he taught me to good use. So wow. it looks like crap, but it's getting paints. painted. And painted, yeah. So Mars essentially just wants to paint this down, the white baseboard color that's this this color. Yes. But you guys leave a comment down in the description if you think we should do this in an accent color, like I don't know, like a, I don't even know, like a green blue, kind of like this maybe, or the there, blue. Or... I'm thinking you guys can look. Here's a color swatch of my two color choices. So I'm thinking either Sherman Williams Sea Salt. Or Sherman Williams Rainwashed. Vote which one you like. But as for right now, we're or just we gonna white. or white. So we'll prime it. I I'm so good at this. When we did Maverick's wall, we did his wall in Shiplap in our Logan house. I'll put a picture. And of me I too. got to go in and I got to fill in all these little holes. <laughs> what did you do that for? Okay, so I searched everywhere for some caulking, could not find any, then I finally found it. If you're gonna ever do a project like this, this is the stuff to use. It's the Dynaflex 230. This stuff is awesome. I thought you were gonna need like a nice sanding block. No, we don't have one. Let me tell you something about Colonel and I's marriage. So our whole marriage, Colonel, obviously has redone all the baseboards and stuff. But he tends to forget little things. So I just decided after I'm done with my whole wall, from here over, to go double check Crandall's work to make sure he got everything. Because the problem is, is if he misses one, he won't go back and redo it. He'll just leave it. So for three years, I look at two little holes in the wall. Oh look, he missed right here. Just didn't do them. So that's, it's okay to double check your spouse's work when you know that it's gonna have consequences if you don't. I'm just talking about how like if you miss a hole, you just don't care and you leave it and then there's like two little dots. No, he never does that. Okay, there's one crib expertly built. I think we're only building one right now. Yeah, I think we build the second one last, especially since we're taking that one from our so. Okay, we're just moving everything over and I get so excited and Colonel just turns to me and he's like, I'm so excited for the babies. Ah, I'm too, but Colonel's sister just sent us these. They are like the best burp cloths ever. So she like makes them and I'm so excited because we used them for Maverick, but she just sent us like a whole well, she sent us more. We kept the ones from Maverick, but I have a feeling we're gonna need more burp cloths than we did with Maverick. Just, Just like a little, a bit. little <laughs> feeling inside. We are getting super close. We've got, we brought the new dresser in. We got the bed set up. We actually, I think decided we're gonna put the we two beds. Shirts, yeah, it'll fit. So one bed here, the dresser, and then one bed here. Maverick, go to bed. 
Somebody's not sleeping. Here's the accent wall. It turned out amazing, but we got to figure out the paint color. So let us know down in the description the paint color. What do you think, Mars? Are you pretty excited? Yeah, no, I'm really excited. We still have a lot to do. Yeah. We got to build the chair. I'm excited for the chair. And we got to find a rug. And then we have to take everything out when we get flying. Yeah, which I don't know when that'll be, so. <laughs> this seems like a nightmare of a task. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. We obviously have a lot more we have to do in order to bring these little boys home in just a few weeks. I can't believe it. I'm getting really nervous. Subscribe to the channel so that you can see us bring our new babies home, see the whole nursery reveal, and follow along with us on this journey.